would do a free tutorial for you. Every now and again, I want to be able to um, share some tips and tricks with you without you having to pay for it. So um, I thought I would do a tutorial of this image. This is my daughter and unfortunately it's uh, like pulling teeth to get her to wear an adorable outfit and you know have her hair put in a lovely fishtail French braid or whatever they call them. And so um, I take what I can get and uh, we were just at the park this day uh, and it was like in the fall I think because most of the leaves, leaves had fallen off of the trees and she had brought this big teddy bear with her so I just got her to sit for a few pictures and you know obviously her hair is completely windblown and she's wearing like her outfit probably doesn't match I think she's wearing like cowgirl boots and black pants here with a, a sweater so nothing fancy but um I thought maybe you could take some tips and tricks from this tutorial and apply them to your beautiful styled images with um, amazing hair and beautiful dresses um, or beautiful little outfits for boys or whatever it is you do. So um, I basically just adjusted the white balance and um, there was a big, over here, there was a big brown splotch and I removed that out of the picture. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to duplicate this layer. Um, I will let you guys know right now that I am awful at shortcuts. So um, everything that I do, you can do as a shortcut. I am just, I always take the long way. I don't know. That's how I've been my whole life. So I'm going to duplicate this layer and then I am going to um, go to edit, transform, flip horizontal. And basically what I did is I wanted to put this section of trees over on this side. So I am going to um, create a layer mask and then I'm going to hit command I and it's going to turn this layer mask to black. So basically it's going to hide everything. And the way I reveal it is I take a white soft brush, I click on this black layer mask, and then with my opacity at 100% and my flow at 100%, I'm just going to paint it on. Now, as you can see, I don't want her showing there, so I'm just gonna go back with a black brush and hide that area again, like so. And now I'm just going to flatten this image. I'm just going to go through actually one more time and just make sure I have everything pretty good. I think I might come down here. Let's see. I may not like this. We'll find out. Hmm. Yeah, that's okay. I'm just going to... Yeah, I think I'm going to actually just keep it how it was. Okay, so um, actually, you know what, I'm going to take my white brush again and just barely go right here on this lower half. And then take my black brush and reveal that part of the teddy bear again. Okay, so now I'm just going to crop it and just kind of straighten it up a little bit, like so. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flatten this image. And I am going to um, take my eyedropper tool and I'm just going to kind of give this a, um, I don't know, some people call it the no blur. I'm going to click on just a color. I don't know which color I'm going to use yet. Um, maybe this blue or this kind of creamish white here. I think I'll try the blue. And I'm going to go to layer, new layer. And I'm going to bring the opacity of this layer down to around 15. And I'm just going to paint that blue color over the image, kind of over this background area here, like so. And actually, I think what I might do here is I'm going to create another layer. So I'm going to go to Layer, New Layer. I'm going to click on my background image, and I'm going to take my eyedropper tool, and I'm going to click on this white 
and I'm going to go back to this top layer, take my brush, and it's at 100% opacity, which I'm not going to want, but I'm just going to paint over this white area up here and then lower the opacity of that layer to my liking. And I think I might even do a little bit of that color in here. And I'm going to lower the opacity of my brush down to around 42 and then just kind of go in here and do it. Like so. Okay. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to go to layer, new layer, and set it to soft light. I'm going to keep my opacity at 100%. I'm going to take my eyedropper tool and click on the background again and I'm going to select um, a green color. And then I'm going to take my brush, click on that top layer, and I'm just going to go in here. I'm going to actually bring the opacity of my brush back up to 100. And I'm just going to paint on the grass ever so slightly right there. So you can see right there that kind of just gave it a little bit of a pop. Um, you can even mess around with the blend mode here. You can set it to different um, settings. You can do multiply. Um, I don't know what overlay would look like. I don't really like that. So I'm going to stick with soft light. And I think I might actually take my brush and lower it to around 50. I just want to see what it would look like if I brought some of that green tone up into the background here. Yeah. Pretty good. Okay, now um, her face is a little too dark for me in this image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and I am going to uh, click on the background and then click layer, duplicate layer, and hit OK. And I am going to put that on screen. And then I'm going to put a layer mask and hit command I and hide that um, layer. Then I'm gonna drag that layer to the top and I'm going to take on this black layer mask a white brush and I am going to, I think I'm gonna set my opacity to 50 and then I'm just gonna go on here and paint over her. Now I'm doing this really sloppily as you can see. but I'm gonna go in here and just kind of paint over my subject. Now that's a little too bright for me, so I'm just gonna lower the opacity a tad bit of that layer. I think right down to around 60 is good. So you can see the before and after there, like that. Now I'm going to just mess around with some color fill layers. So I'm going to go to layer, new fill layer, solid color. I'm going to set this to around 20% and keep it on the blend mode of normal. And I'm just going to mess around with some different colors and see what I like. I think I might try more of an orange. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. Let's see. Maybe I'll do that one. I think I'll do that one there. It's kind of like a peachy color. And I'm just gonna go on this white layer mask and I'm gonna erase the effect off her skin, but not too much. So I'm gonna switch this box right here. You can switch them from black to white. I'm gonna switch it to black because I'm working on a white layer mask. I'm gonna keep my opacity at around 50 and then I'm just gonna go over my subject and just very lightly paint that off of her, like so. Okay, and then I think what I might do for this last part here, well, not really the last part, I'm probably gonna get into it a little more, but um, I'm gonna go to layer, 
new adjustment layer selective color and hit OK. And I'm going to go over here to, um, let's try the magentas. And I'm just going to mess around with the colors on her shirt um, and just see if there's a color I like better. I'm just going to mess around with these sliders here. We'll see. I think I kind of like that more muted tone in her shirt. I'm going to go up to the reds as well and mess around with those. Now I'm just, right now, I'm just worrying about the colors in her shirt. I'm not worrying about anything else. Okay, so I'm going to take that selective color. I like that. You can see, um, if you want to pause the video, you can see what I did with each one of these magentas and reds, the settings that I used. I'm going to take this white layer mask and I'm going to hit Command I and switch it to black. And then I'm going to take a white soft brush set to 100% opacity. And I'm just going to paint over the areas of her shirt that were that um, real magenta color. Now, obviously, if you're doing this, you know, for an actual print, you want to be very meticulous, but I'm just showing you guys for the sake of, you know, getting through the video. I think I'm going to go in here and do the bear's ears a little bit and his paws. Now I'm going to go to layer, new adjustment layer, levels, and I'm going to go to output and put that at around 15. And then I'm going to click on this white layer mask and take a black soft brush set to opacity of 100, 100%. And I'm just going to paint it off of her uh, face and skin. And off of her clothing and the bear. Okay, and then for um, the last step, I'm going to just mess around with the um, color balance. So I'm going to go into color balance, and in my midtones, let's see here. It's always fun to just kind of mess around, see what works for you. I'm going to add a little more warmth. And in my shadows, I might add a little more red as well. I think right about there. I am going to um, hit Command I on this white layer mask, and then I'm just going to take my white brush and just go over around her, not touching her. Like I said, if you were doing this, you know, for a print, you would obviously be very meticulous about what you're doing. But since I'm just doing this as a quick video to kind of show you what you can do, I'm just going to go over it quickly. Um, I'm going to lower the opacity of this brush down to around, let's try 30%, and then I'm just going to go over my subject. Like so. And then I think I might just add a slight vignette. So I'm going to go to layer, um, new fill layer gradient, and I'm going to set it to soft light. I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to set it to radial, or I think I'm saying that right. I know I said it wrong at one point. Um, and then I am going to hit reverse. And I'm going to click on, I don't know if you saw that, I'm going to click on this gradient box. And this green color, I'm going to change to more of a, let's try a darker orange. Maybe we'll do a blacker color here. Not quite orange, but more of a black. And then this gray color, we'll make it a lighter orange, like a peach. And then I'm just going to move that lighter color over her like so, 
and hit OK. And then I'm going to bring the opacity of that layer down just a little bit. Right around, well, let's do 60. OK, so I'm going to group this all together so you can see the before and after. There's the before, and there's the after. Before, after. Um, anyway, that's just a really quick edit. Um, obviously, you know, if you uh, are doing it for a client, you're going to want to be really meticulous about what you're doing. Um, and uh, I do have some tutorials for sale um, that go into a little more detail. Um, but I wanted to share this free one with you guys. So before, after. All right, we will talk to you in the next video.